Discord. All right, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, depending on where you are in the United States, where you are around the world. Welcome to our compensation plan training. I am your hostess, Janice Parker. And guys, I'm excited to share some information with you. And just now, I have broke out into a full sweat. Uh, but we're going to cover some amazing information with you because one of the things about, you know, knowing your compensation plan is it's going to be very hard to get a check if you don't know how to get a check. It's going to be very hard to rise through the compensation plan if you don't know what it takes to get through the compensation plan. So my goal over the course of this next hour is to walk you through that information so that you do know what it takes to move through the compensation plan because not only is it important that you know, it becomes very important that you know how to teach your team so that they can do the exact same thing. And so I want to make sure that everybody is aware of uh, what you actually have your hands on so that you know how to navigate yourself through the compensation. So a couple of things that I want to clarify. First things first, let me get my ink pen up. First things first that I want to clarify, guys, is, you know, there seems to be a little bit of... Um, a little bit of confusion, if you will, about you know the the, the product line, okay? And so, um, what we actually have our hands on. And so, what I want to do first things first is to kind of clear that part up. I want to I want to clear that part up. And the interesting thing, guys, is that you know I, what I love about our uh, what I love about our, our presentation is that literally everything that you need to know about your, your, your business, not everything, but the bulk of what you need to know about, you know, your compensation plan is actually right there in the presentation. So I am bringing up the PowerPoint and I'm going to share that with you guys as soon as it's up. But of course, you know, we technically have four products. It's, it, it's kind of technically four products. So this is going to be interactive, guys. Um, what are the four products? Let me hear from you guys. What are the four products that we offer with Surge 365? Let me hear from you. What are the four products that we offer with Surge 365? We actually have four. Now, some people will say it's three, okay? But in actuality, there are four things that we can sell to a prospect. What are those four things? As I get the slideshow up here. Can you guys tell me what those four things are? It is loading. I'm just waiting for the rest of the slides to actually load. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and log into Zoom myself just to make sure I can see what you guys are actually seeing. All right, so let's go to our product line because here's some of the interesting questions that I've been getting, interestingly enough, over the course of the last week. Now, let me see which champion actually answered my question. All right, so um, Vortex, Membership, Platinum, and SBA. That is correct, <laughs> what Mike said. That's exactly right. Mike, very good. That is that what our product line actually is. And so now let's talk about the product line. And what I'm going to do for the sake of um, what I'm going to do for the sake of um, the SBA, I'm just going to kind of throw it up here, even though we're going to cover it in just a second. I'm going to throw it up here. Now, you guys know that the SBA fee is going up to $20. I don't know when that is right now. It's 10, but it's actually going to go up to um, a $20 price point. So now, so that board tax, but just in case you guys uh, so that you understand, the, the SBA is $0. It costs nothing. And I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry. Zero points. There are no points acquired when you sell somebody an SBA. When somebody purchases a Vortex, you get one point. The membership, you get one point. They purchase the Platinum, you actually get two points. So, so, so those are the four products. Like Mike said, Vortex, membership, and then the Platinum. And, and the SBA. Now, somebody asked me, they said to me, they said, well, um, how, how did they put it? Their, their question was, so a person cannot recruit if they don't have the platinum. So I, I want you to understand that you can't recruit if you purchase any of these. If you purchase any of these, you are not allowed to recruit. You can refer people to someone else who can sponsor that person and then place them on your team, but you cannot recruit with any of those. 
you can only recruit when. When can you begin to recruit, guys? If you add what? If you add the SBA to any one of these platforms, let's see what somebody said in the chat, right? Exactly. When you add, Shabana, the SBA to any one of these platforms, then you can recruit. So then I had another person say, well, if the person has an SBA only and they do not have the member, I mean, and they do not have a membership, then they can't earn any money. Okay. Another misnomer because right here in the presentation, now notice, this is where the presentation itself starts, right? This is where the presentation starts. Now, what comes after this is when we start talking about what? The SBA. So right now we're talking about the comp plan. When we get to this slide, we're talking about the comp plan. What The, the ability to earn $1,000 bonuses, $10,000 bonuses, the fast start bonus, residual income and $50,000 bonus does not happen before this slide before you get to the Surge Business Associate $10 fee. So when you are, when you are enrolling someone, guys, if, and, 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 and they're, they're gonna, they want to build a team, they have to have the SBA. So if they buy the Vortex, add the SBA. If they buy the membership, add the SBA. If they buy the Platinum, add the SBA. Now, what if you have somebody sitting at the table they're ready to go. They don't get their check to the 25th. Today is the third. Do you walk away from them because they don't have 177, 277, or 477? And for me, my answer would be no. And I will tell you why. Because down in Trinidad and Tobago, we had a young lady. Her name is, um, uh, I'm drawing a blank. I'm drawing a blank. Not Trinidad and Tobago. She's in St. Lucia. Her name is Sarah. So Sarah got started with $10 because that's all she had. Now, interestingly enough, what Sarah did first was put in three people that paid $10 as well. Now, her first question to me was, am I three and free? Now, each of these people paid $10, guys. You guys answer the question for me. Is she three and free if each of these people paid $10? The question she asked me is, am I three and free? But the answer to the question, hopefully you guys know the answer to the question. Let's see, we've got one message in the chat here. And Shavana says, no. And I expressed to her, no, each of them has to buy a product. Now, most people would have said, see, that was a waste of your time. That was a colossal waste of your time. Right, 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 Shell. That's exactly right, Mike. But it was not. And let me show you why. Because then she went on, right? Then she went on to get one of these people to upgrade to 177. That was one point. She went on when she got paid to upgrade to 277. Now in Trent, St. Lucia, that's two points. Then she brought on another young lady by the name of Diane that paid 277. That's two points. Then she brought on another person that paid the 177. That's one more point. So guys, if you, so, so, but, but mine is this one. And then she bought on another person that paid 277. Now we can't count her point, right? Because that's two points on my side, but it that wasn't towards her, her team builder. So then she bought on another person that paid 277. That was two points. So now there's two, four, six. She became a team builder. And then the two points that, that she, when she upgraded, that's eight points that went into my team builder, you know, on my team builder, you know, count to, to, to a thousand dollar bonus, all because I said yes to her getting started at $10. Now, if you have a different upline, you can consult with your upline. Some uplines say, go for it. Um, some uplines say, I don't bring anybody in at $10. I think it's a judgment call. But for me, that's eight points that I would have never gotten had I not started working with her immediately. So, so the $10 SBA, even though she had not purchased the product, she was able to go on and sell, able to sell the $10 package. She was able to sell the 177. Of course, she didn't upgrade it herself. But my point to you is this, is it doesn't matter, um, you know, if a person does start at the $10, in case you're ever confused about that question, 
Can they recruit? Yes, because you'll notice that everything that we talk about as far as the compensation starts after a person pays $10. Now, our preference, of course, because we don't get paid until somebody buys a product, is, of course, that they buy a product. But I want you to understand the SBA is where the recruiting happens right does that make sense but they can't run out there and recruit a bunch of ten dollar people and and that and that's gonna you know count towards your team builder they they still themselves need to upgrade at some point and you know the persons that they recruit have to buy a product as well so ten dollar sba so how does it work well there are a few things that you want to pay attention to a few things that you want to pay attention to guys when you are um when you are actually out there getting somebody new started and if you're brand new um listening to this presentation this is some information that you're going to want to know as well so when you've got you've got time you've got some benchmarks some some time periods that your new person must be aware of and the first one is eight days all right the second one right the second one is 30 days okay um and they have a third one that is 30 days and then they have of course the 100 days so a brand new person has a few um benchmarks right that they want to um that we want them to, to pay very, very close attention to if they're gonna be working on the marketer side. So now, if this is you, then you're brand new, or this is your new person, inside of their first eight days, inside of their first eight days, guys, they have that time period, including the day they got started. So technically it's seven days if you start counting the next day. But they onboard three business, you know, three memberships of any sort, except the SBA. So the, you know, the Vortex, the Platinum, or the, or the uh, membership. And the company is going to pay them $150 quick start bonus. So their first eight days, they only have one bite at that apple, right, is in their first eight days. And so it doesn't matter if they bring on a 177, three 177s, a 177, a 277, and a 477. It really does not matter. Um, at, uh, that person now earns that, that $150 fast start bonus inside of their first eight days. Now, then, so, so, so again, it doesn't matter which product that that actually is. However, there is also the three and free right the three and free and actually i should put up here hold on one second let me do something i'm going to i'm going to put 30 days up here again and then i'm going to put 100 days and i'll explain that in a second okay so now three and free okay um doesn't have to happen within that first 30 days but if we want to eliminate them ever having to pay that that first monthly subscription it is ideal so this is not mandatory this one with the star is ideal that we get them three and free in their first 30 days and that way they do not have to make a, their first monthly subscription payment three and free meaning once they have three of any one of our memberships so again guys it doesn't have to be platinum but three of any one of our memberships, and that person has no more monthly subscription payment. Now, does it have to happen in 30 days? Absolutely not, but it is ideal. It can happen. I've seen some people take six months. I've seen some people take a full year before they had their third active representative. Well, what if I put them in and this person goes dark? They, 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 they am I still three and free? The key word, guys, is what? The key word is active. They must be active. They cannot just get in. Now think about it from a business perspective. The reason the company is letting you pay zero is because each of these guys is either three and free or they're paying the $59.95 per month. The company cannot allow you to pay zero if your people aren't paying anything and they're inactive does that make sense well then coach three and free how does that really benefit me because if the people could you know quit or not pay their subscription how do i benefit 
Well, we're talking about the compensation plan and, and I'm talking, I'm talking to you about business. You and I know nothing is a hundred percent. Nothing ever works a hundred percent of the time, right? So what you do is not just, if you're planning on being in this business for the long haul anyway, I'm going to challenge you to do what like a, um, a Sylvia or a Tanisha or an Andrea did is that since typically, you know, things kind of happen in thirds, at least go ahead and not just get your first three people. We'll come back to this later, but go ahead and maybe add four, five, and six to your front line, people that you personally register. Why? Because if for any reason, a couple of these people go dark, guess what? You're still three and free. But there's another success formula to attach to that as well. And that is by helping these people to get what? three and free. And so a lot of times, family, you hear, right? A lot of times you hear us talking in the business getting three and free, but the genius is, is if number one does fade off into the sunset because they have three active members on their team, they're still active, you're still three and free. So your goal is to hurry up and get people three and free. Why? Because we don't know what their long-term decisions are going to be. And just in case, <clears throat> just in case they change their mind for whatever reason, you're still okay because you've helped not only them to get three and free, but you've helped their team to get three and free. Okay. So when does the three and free have to be done in the first 30 days? Absolutely, positively not, but but it is it to your in your best interest to get them three active business partners as quickly as possible all right so somebody said yes yes so true instead of three as a goal it would be that's exactly right it would be six three see here is and i'm glad you said that because here is what um i say never let the company's minimums be your maximums. What do I mean by that? If the company says, go out and get three, I don't know who the LG person is, but then you go out and get six. If the company says no more, like with director, no more than 167 people in three legs, go get 10 legs, right? In other words, you know what I mean? So don't, they're telling you, they're keeping it to where people who need to feel comfortable, feel comfortable. But you and I are running business. This is business, right? Right? This is business. You said, amen. This is business. And so you want to run your business like a business and be smart about making sure your business is secure. Okay? If that makes any sense. All right. So, so that's that piece. Now let's go back. What happens in the other 30 days? Well, in the other 30-day period, guys, you also have another benchmark. And that is to get to Team Builder. So when you are, um, you, if you're brand new, in your first 30 days, it only takes six points to get to Team Builder in your first 30 days. On day 31 and beyond, it takes 14 points. So make sure if you don't know that, you write that down. So in your first 30 days, right, it could be three Platinums, which give you two points each, right? Um, it could be, you know, a two platinums and then a membership and a vortex either way as long as you are at six points as long as you're at six points in your first 30 days you are a team builder and now you have access to unlimited thousand dollar bonuses unlimited ten thousand dollar bonuses and the like in your first 30 days now what if though you don't make it in your first 30 days let's just say Let's just say that you were grinding, but for whatever reason, right, you ended up with five points in your first 30 days, right? You ended up with five points in your first 30 days, but you did not get the six points. Well, the beautiful thing about it is this, is that the company says as long as you personally have at least three platinums under your belt that you personally recruited, they will count the points from the people on your team to help you. And this is just blows my mind because it happened with Sylvia. Um, it happened with Andrea, right? Where they will, if this person brings in somebody that's one point, 
Now you've got two, four, six, seven, eight points. She brings in somebody for two points. You've got 10 points. You bring in another person for one point. You've got 11 points. They bring in a two-pointer. You've got 12, 13 points. This person brings in somebody. You've got, you know, 14 points. So you, so, so you can get to team builder, not just by yourself going all the way to 14 points after day 31, but including what your team, the team members do under you, as long as you have personally three platinum sales. Got it? They will count what your team does as long as you still went out and got six personal points with platinums, they will count you. So you still got to get those, those, those three yourself. But that's kind of crazy because I remember um, I was sitting in, um, where was I? I think I was in Rosa's house. Tanisha was almost, no. Andrea was almost the team builder, but she needed 14 points. So remember, they will count what happens under Tanisha and what happens under her person, which was Rosa, that are not, at that point, were not team builders. And so um, as, as Rosa was putting in a new business partner, and I think Tanisha put in a new business partner, Andrea's points were ticking upward towards 14. And while we were in a travel party that was two levels down from Andrea, she popped over to Team Builder. So somebody put in somebody, you know, and, and, and we're down here in this level here, but she became a Team Builder because those points counted all the way up because they were in, um, you know, they were not under a Team Builder at that point. So that's powerful, guys. I mean, that the company does that because they, they know that it will be not hard, but harder if you had to do it all by yourself. And so I love the fact that the company takes care of us. Now, the next 30 day, what's the last 30 day benchmark? Does anybody know what the other thing that can happen for you in 30 days is? Anybody know what the other thing that can happen for you in 30 days actually is? And that is going to be called your fast start bonus, guys. That's going to be your fast start bonus. And that is the $1,000 bonus. Remember, $1,000 bonus. There's only one product that can get you there though and that product happens to be the vortex platinum so seven vortex platinum sales seven vortex platinum sales in your first 30 days and a lot of us know tashana one two three four five six tashana did it in her first um six or seven days um will pay you a one thousand dollar bonus Seven Vortex Platinum sales will pay you a $1,000 bonus. So now, so can I do Vortex? Can I, if I have, you know, the 14 points and their, you know, membership and Vortex, can I count that? No, they all must be what? Vortex Platinum sales. And so that means we have to hit the ground running um, immediately in order to qualify for that. So those are your first, those are your benchmarks for your new people. Your focus, as soon as they get started, eight days. And then the 30-day the benchmarks. And, and again, three and three doesn't have to, have to happen in 30 days, but it is ideal that it happens inside of 30 days. Well, I'm going to come back to this one in just a minute, but um, let's talk about your, your, your teams because some people are not quite 100% clear. Um, well, let me not, I'm not going to put that in there. I'm going to put, uh, I'm just going to put you. You have two teams operating. One, right, one is, one is, guys, your fast start team. Now, before you become a team builder, right, you have a fast start team team. Now, what is the difference? Well, on this side of the equation is where you can earn $1,000 bonuses. This is where you are when you're working to get to this side where you can earn $1,000 bonuses. So when you're first bringing people onto your team, 
you're not a team builder. So those people are not counting towards your thousand dollar bonus, except you put in those seven platinum sales and then you'll get a thousand dollar bonus. It's called a fast start bonus, but you have two teams that are actually working. So if you were to look at um, your, your fast start team, remember when you, you, you are likely you're down the line to a team builder somewhere. Right, so you could be sponsored somebody by, by sponsored by somebody who's not a team builder, who's sponsored by somebody who's not a team builder, and then there's a director. That's your team builder. So whoever your team builder is, right? So so let me just put them up here as well. You have somebody that is a team builder in your upline. So here is what you have to make sure that you understand. If the person above you is not a team builder, these people are counting all the way up to whoever the team builder is in your fast start team. Now, one of the reasons that you want to hurry up and get your person to team builder with six points is, of course, because let's just say they get there with two, three, four, five, six. Those six people are in your uplines team builder organization. If it takes them 14 people, all 14 of those people are in your fast start team and your team builders team, your uplines team builder team. Now, does that mean they're not on your team? So here's my next point. Yes, they are. Did you know that you could get to director and not be a national builder? Did you know that you could, you could not build on your team builder side, but build under three legs on this side or however many get to 500 and be, a, be a, a director and never, ever hit like national builder, regional. Did you know that? And the answer is yes. Why? Because you don't, you just need people when you're going to director. And so it becomes very important that you treat all of the people on your team. Yes, Shivana, all of the people on your team as superstars. Why? Because these people count, right? Just because they don't fall in your team builder group and you don't get paid thousand dollar bonuses off of them does not mean they're not part of your overall team. And when Surge starts paying you as a director, it is because of everybody on your team, not just your team builder organization. Now you may be saying, okay, well, how can you get to director before you're a national builder? Well, let me show you what it takes to get there. So when you are, when you, to get to team builder, of course, you know, you need six, what? Six points or if it takes, you know, more than 30 days, you need 14. What does it take guys to be a regional builder? What does it take to be a regional builder in Surge 365? What does it take to be a regional builder in Surge 365? What does it take, guys? Does it take people or does it take points? And then how many of whatever? What does it take to be a team builder in Surge 365? All right, I'll help you out. In order to be a team builder, oh, wait, we got somebody in the chat. Points, all right. And Rhonda, do you know how many points it takes to be a team builder? Sylvia says 100, Rhonda says 14. Okay. So a regional builder, right? A regional builder needs 70 points. A regional builder, guys, needs 70 points. And so from, from team builder, which is either six or 14 points, to regional builder, you've got to go from those six or 14 points to 70 points. Now, that could be 35 platinum, right? Um, now, remember... As a team builder, none of the points that got you to team builder count to regional builder because they're where? On your team builder side. They're not on your fast start side. Those points, these, these points, although these people are extremely important, they're, they're getting started and their points do not count. They do not count towards your, your, your regional builder status. 
National builder, how many points does it take to be a national builder? That's the next level up. Oh, that's okay, Rhonda. How many points does it take to be a national builder? Anybody know how many points it takes to be a national builder? All right, so LG said 120, Rhonda says 210. Absolutely, Rhonda is correct. It takes 210 points to be a national builder. 210 points to be a national builder. All right, what does it take to be a level one marketing director? What does it take to be a level one marketing director? All right, let's see what you guys are saying. Very good. Uh, LG says 500 people. Patricia says 500 people. Rhonda says 500 people. Okay, where, from where, where on your, from where can you get those 500 people to count um, towards your directorship? Where do you get those 500 people? Where do you get the 500 people, guys? All right, so Rhonda says all your people combined. That is exactly right. So, so, so what happens, Patricia, is your team builder and your fast start team are now counting. So once you hit national builder, once you hit National Builder, now what Surge does is they merge those people together. Everybody on your Fast Start team, everybody on your Team Builder team, they merge them together, and guess what? Now those people count towards your, your, um, your marketing directorship. So the question becomes, is everybody equally as important as the next guy? Are the people in your fast start team equally as important as the people in your team builder group? And the answer is exactly right. The answer is yes, Patricia. And because everybody counts. And so the reason you can be, you can be a, a director and not be a national builder is because you could hit 500 people with not having, you could have maybe 190 over here and you could have 310 over here, right? You did not hit National Builder, but you did hit 500 people. Just like Rhonda just said, those 500 people in both of those teams, you did hit those 500 people and guess what? Now you're a director. So the comp plan is so amazing if we just go to work. Now, how do you, how do you grow your organization? Well, you're going to pop, you know, as because most of us are in it to make extra income immediately, you will spend a good portion of your time in your team builder organization. So we've heard that you spend 80% of your time in your team builder group and you spend another 20% of your time in your fast start team. But if you're on the fast track to director and maybe those first 14 people are, or first six or eight people are grinding, they're like grinding, right? And you don't have as much going on on this side, do what you got to do to get to director. Does that make sense? So in other words, you, you try to keep as much of a balance as possible, but don't forsake the people in your fast start team just because you know, um, you know, you're, 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 gonna, you're supposed to work 80% in your team builder group. You may go out of balance. You may end up being 50-50 in order to get to director. But what I'm saying to you guys is your business owners make a judgment call. Counsel with your upline. Show them what your organization looks like. But sometimes it may flip. You know what I mean? It, or it may balance out and be equal half the time here and half the time there. Just do whatever it takes. So now let's talk about, um, as we start to round third base, let's talk about how powerful this compensation plan is. Now, you know the 
Now, let me ask you this question. I'm not, I'm going to, I'm going to let you answer. What position is the most profitable position in Surge 365? What position is the most profitable position in Surge 365? What level, you know, uh, what, you know, is it team builder, director, national builder, regional builder, level two director? Which is the most lucrative position in all of Surge 365? Which one? Anybody want to take a guess? Which is the most lucrative team builder? That's exactly right, Shivana. That's 100% right, right? Why? Because that's where those $1,000 bonuses and $10,000 bonuses and even the $50,000 bonus happens. So let's just say you are a team builder, right? So if you're not a team builder, the first thing you want to do is hurry up and get to team builder. So you're a team builder. Now, remember, let's just say now you bought your first you know, you brought in your, um, your team builder and, you know, the company shows where you brought in your first person. And then on the slides, we see where, where this person brings in, as a matter of fact, let me do it this way. Let, let's go back to the slides. Let's go back to the slides. All right. So All right, so let's let's go to the slides because again, the comp plan for the most part is built into the presentation. So this is you at Team Builder. Again, the power of three and free, but I'm going to say this to you. Don't just work with your people until they're three and free. Make sure they're also, and you're not going to stop working with them, but in other words, you want to also get them to Team Builder right? Because whatever falls under them until they're a team builder falls in your team builder group, right? So, I, you know, if a person puts in 3177s, they're not a team builder. Then you continue to work to get them to either six points or 14 points because all of that falls in your what? Team builder group. And I'm going to show you the power of that in just a second. But if you look at the comp plan, right? This guy is the first person in your team builder group. He is the first person in your team builder group. Now, when you help him to get what? Three and free, right? Now you have him and then those first three, which is seven of the, I mean, sorry, four of the seven in this example. Now, do they have to be platinum? No. But just remember, for every platinum sale, you need two of the other sales, right? But your goal is to get to 14 points. That's, that is the goal, is to get to 14 points. So what Surge does, when you're looking in your back office and those little heads are lit up, for every 14 points, um, Surge pays you a $1,000 bonus. So we're just doing this one now because the platinum sales, guys, is two points. So we're, that's, that's why we're doing um, this one. Now, so when we bring in this guy, Right. As a matter of fact, I will go back. When we bring in, um, so we, when we when we go here, as we start to help each of these persons to be get to become three and free, this is number five. This is number six. This is number seven. That's when the company pays you another pays you a thousand dollar bonus. Now, what's amazing is, of course, you know that as you continue at, to help just these three people, this one guy, this is one leg. I want you to pay attention. This is one leg, which is what blows my mind. Just one. So you help each of these people to get three and free, and we're starting to help her get three and free, and you just earned another what? $1,000 bonus. But so, so that's, you know, so, so watch this, though. This is what blows my mind. We help this guy to get three, this guy to get three, and her to get one, and you've just earned another what? Thousand dollar bonus. All of these people are in his fast start group. So you're, you have the ability to help each one of them and every single one of them, every seven that you know joins your team builder group because they're still in his fast start group. Well, coach, didn't he become a team builder when he brought her on? Yes, he did. And so when he brings on his fourth person or his, 
his seventh point or his 14th point, depending on how long it took him to get there, this person right here is in his team builder group. Now he can do the exact same thing that you're doing. But every single one of these people are still in your fast start group. That's what's bananas. And so when you, when, as you continue to help each of these people, right? I mean, it blows my mind because once she gets two and he gets three, that's five and she gets, that, that's another what? Thousand dollar bonus. That's another thousand dollar bonus. We're still only working under one person, just one person. Now, she gets one more, she gets three, she gets three. That is seven. That's another what? Thousand dollar bonus, <laughs> right? That's another thousand dollar bonus right there. Now, we help him to get three, her to get, you know, two more. That's five. She's three and free. That's five. He gets his first two, and you just earn another what? thousand dollar bonus but do you understand that every one of those little circles that we just put up there every single one of them is still in your team builder group and his fast start group that every single one of those people as you take this business deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper as you do that every single one of these people is in your team builder group and so when you, so, so your calendar, and hopefully you've already set up your calendar. If you have not heard the calendar training, I do have it in the group under announcements, but hopefully you've got your calendar set up because for every single person, here's a tip, for every single person that joins your team, book their first three travel parties, not one. Now, some of you guys do conference calls, some of you know, and or Zooms, any combination. But if they live in your local area, family, sit down and do a presentation, three presentations with them in their home or their office or their their community center. Their um, like if they're in an apartment complex and they have that little community area. But do you know how full your schedule gets just from helping this one guy, just one guy? Now, will everybody let you do, get them three and free? No, right? But in a perfect world, do you see how amazing that is? Now, you may ask the question, well, how deep can I take that, right? The interesting thing is, is if this is that same guy right here, if this is not right here, right? And you helped him to get his three, and then those three got their three, right? And then those three got their three. Let's just say one person out of every three gets, lets you help them to get three. Do you understand that there is no limit to where that stops? <laughs> Do you understand that the company does not have a point that you stop earning thousand dollar bonuses in that organization? That's bananas. And that's just one leg. Imagine what happens if we diligently focus on all of those legs, right? That's the power of that team builder organization. Now, do I suggest that you just get three? Heck no, remember. We don't let the company's minimums be our what? We don't let the company's minimums be our maximum. So what do I suggest? Personally, let's just say you have your fast start team and let's just say there were six people in your fast start team. Now remember, these people, this team builder right here is spending 80% of their time on the team builder side. Now that you've become a team builder, let's let's draw the line right here you become a team builder i personally suggest that you put in this is just me you can do what you want right but i would say that you get at least 10 on your team builder side why you're going to diversify see everybody's not going to stick there, is, there, there are three rules that I want you to pay attention to. And so if you have the ability to take notes, take notes. All right, so Shivana has a question. She just wants to clarify. If you are not a team builder yet and don't have three platinum that you are responsible for getting, all 14 points become a team builder but the people your team bring in won't count towards that. I hope that makes sense. Okay. So, so to answer Shivana's question, I'm just going to, um, let me do this. I'm going to go back to the slides to answer your question real quick. All right. So let's erase the slides, right? 
So Shabana, let's just say, um, let's just say this right here is you, okay? And let's just say you have 177, 177, two, and, and, and the 477, okay? And, and you need all 14 points to get there. The, these people, when you look in your back office, what you're going to see is it'll say um, how many you have of six to team builder. And then right up under that, it will say how many you have of 14. So you're going to have two bars that are running in your back office. One to six points, those are yours. And then one to 14 points. So they are counting these down here in that second bar to 14 points waiting, you know, at waiting for you, right, to get your six, your three platinum. So let's just say you bring on, so let's just say this, she bought on these guy, this guy, he's one point, he's two points, he's three points, right? They're sitting there waiting to count. They're sitting there. If you look in your back office, you'll see two rows on your way. It'll say what your current position is and how, what you need to do to get to team builder. The moment, let's just say this guy upgrades to 477, this guy upgrades to 477. The moment you have those six points on that first bar, right? They will be added to the points on the second bar, which is the 14 points. And now you, it, it closes the gap on what you need to get to 14. So you don't know. Doesn't mean that you, because you don't have them right this minute, you have to get all 14 points by yourself. No. But, you know, the moment, because the moment you filled up that first bar yourself, you're going to pop over to, you know, you're going you're gonna to now combine those points. So these points will be sitting. So if you guys have ever seen it, you'll say it'd be two little tracks and you'll see this part, you know, blended and it'll say zero to 14 and right above it, it'll say zero to six. And you see that little, little bar that's filling up. Your responsibility personally is to fill this bar up. Then they merge the two which moves you closer to 14. And as soon as you're 14 out of 14 points, you're a team builder. So her question, she just wanted to make, okay, you got it? Okay. All right. So she's looking in the back office now. All right. Fantastic. So that's how, that's how that works. Um, you're welcome. So, so uh, three rules. One is what we call the one third rule right? One is what we call the one-third rule. And, and what you have to understand is the one-third rule says one-third of the people that you re rec recruit or enroll will quit, one-third of the people will incubate, and one-third of the people will run. So if we were to look at your fast start team, we're looking at two people that are going to be runners, and over here we're looking at three to four that are going to be runners. So you never want to go with any, that's why we talked to you about inviting a hundred people to your first presentation. A third of them, you either don't get in touch with or they say no. Two thirds of them you get in touch with, maybe 40 or 50 of them say yes. By the time somebody does a validation call, 30 of them remember they were coming. And by the time the meeting happens, 10 to 15 show up. It's numbers. So as long as you don't operate in your emotions, worried about, well, so-and-so said they were coming and I had four guests coming. If you say to me on a Monday night or any, any travel party, you say, well, I had 10 people coming. I'm only expecting one to three because it's all numbers. Does that make sense, guys? So if you operate from the premise that it's all numbers, you never get your feels hurt when people don't show. So you know if you've got... Four people said confirm to show up, zero to one, maybe two will actually show up. It's never going to be all four. Very, 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 very rarely. If it does, count your blessings. But if it doesn't, don't be upset. It's all math. So one third of the people that join your team, and listen, some of them don't quit right away, right? They don't like get in and quit. Some of them do. But some of them may not quit for like six months, right? Um, some of them may come out the gate and get three and free. And then all of a sudden they go into witness protection. They don't cancel their membership, but they just are not showing up anymore. They're incubating. 
And then you've got those, that third that will run. And sometimes that person could have like Andrea. Andrea got in, she left and went to London. She was going for, she didn't start building her business till like the 30th day or something. But now she's broken two team builders, right? So, so what I'm saying to you is you don't know how it's going to play out. That's why you treat everybody the same because you don't know who your rock star is, right? They could be laying dormant right now and then all of a sudden, phew, so you always love people the same. No favoritism. No, well, I'm not going to work with you because you're not showing me anything. Forget all of that because you don't know who they are. They just may be watching and waiting for their moment to, to, to take off. So, so that third becomes very, very important that you understand the one third rule. The other thing that you want to understand is that you don't have a rep until your rep has a rep and gets a check. You don't have a rep until that rep has a rep or gets a check. As a matter of fact, I would say this. You technically don't have a rep until you get your rep three and free. That's why you want to hurry up and do, you know, get them three in the first eight days. Guys, that makes them three and free and gets them 150. But now you've got three people that need to do what? The exact same thing. So, 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 but here's what we tell you in the industry is that you typically will find your leader, right? Your rock star leader, three to four down in your organization. So you may sponsor this guy, they, he gets three and free and then he may incubate. He sponsors this girl, right? She stays around for six or seven months and then she's gone. Sponsors this guy, this guy's really a runner. He, he, may, be having a, he may be struggling, but he's a runner. But somewhere between here and here, is normally where you find your superstar. That means you cannot just sponsor people personally and not help those people get people. Because until you, you, you drive down in an organization, we call that driving depth into an organization, until you drill down in that organization, not only have you not found your leader, but that leg is not secure. You have to anchor that leg and make it secure. So, so understand something. One of the laws is, is that, uh, one of the rules is that it's a one third rule. A third, just, just automatically don't treat people that way, but just understand in your mind, if I, if you personally recruit 20 people, if anybody's ever listened to Eric Ray, if you personally recruit 20 people, you don't have 20 people. In the end game, after about a year, you've got six to eight. It's numbers. It's all math. It's nothing personal, right? However, um, and, then, and, and then remember that you don't have an organization secure. You won't find your leader, second rule, you won't find your leader until you are somewhere around the third or the fourth level deep in that organization is where you're going to find your rock star. So it's not enough to just sponsor personally. You've got to drive these legs, right? You've got to drive these organizations. And then the third rule is, is that you want to be doing four to six travel parties on a weekly basis. Four to six travel parties on a weekly basis. So we got that. I'm gonna close up with um, this, two things. I want you to understand the business um, from the industry perspective, not surge perspective, industry perspective. In the industry, this is called your width, right? What I love about our comp plan, and our comp plan is what we call a unilateral, meaning you can get as many people personally as you absolutely want to. Your profit, how profitable you become, is going to depend on how wide, how many people you personally recruit. It, what it's going to be influenced by, okay? Now, but it's not enough to just be wide. You must also take that business and you must drive it deep. The industry says you want to keep working in an organization I don't have enough space, so it's not a it's <laughs> it's not supposed to be a C, a, a U. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 deep. Typically, 
if you take an organization 12 levels deep, remember somewhere around here is where you're going to find your superstar. Okay. Four levels deep from him, he's going to find his what? Superstar. And then four levels deep, we find another what? Superstar. So let's look at, let's look at, for example, like, um, like Vaughn. Vaughn has, his superstar is Nick Pagano. Nick's first superstar is Renee. Renee's first superstar is who? Tashana. Tashana's first superstar is actually one in her one of the first people she personally recruited, which is Letitia. But notice how that happened. It, it did not happen where Nick sponsored Renee, sponsored Tashana, sponsored Letitia, and they're all rock stars. Boom, 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 boom. There is depth in between each of those, those, those organizations. So would you say that this particular leg is secure? Would you say that the leg down through, from Bond down through, um, you know, Nick Pagano through Renee to Tashana would be pretty much a secure leg? Now, don't forget, there are hundreds of people, right? There are hundreds of people all the way through. That would be what we call a secure leg. So when you go this way in your business, this is your security. You are not sure if you only secure, if you only put in people personally, you have to take those level, those legs deeper and deeper and deeper. That gives you the security of income coming in on a regular basis out of that organization and that organization not fizzling out, but it does take work, which means as soon as you bring this person in, book their first three travel parties. This person booked their first three travel parties. This person booked their first three travel parties. Guys, it won't take long before your calendar is so full with people's travel parties that you are, you are bonusing on a weekly, if not bi-weekly basis in your team building group. But you've got to go out there and just do the work. The last thing I'm going to cover is the, 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 the $10,000 or $50,000 challenge, right? And I want to just show you really, really quickly how simple that really, really is, right? So let's, now remember, you got to get to Team Builder. Let's just say this is you. You're, you only can earn the $50,000 bonus or the $10,000 bonus over and over and over again in your Team Builder group. All right, so let me show you how, <laughs> let me show you how amazingly simple this is. You go out and personally recruit in the next 30 days, 10 people. In the next 30 days, you go recruit 10 people. Or you find 10 people, a combination of new recruits and, and, and people already in your business that in your team or the group that want to run, right? Help this person to get three and free, right? Help each of these 10 people to get three and free. How many people did you just add to your organization? You help each of these people to get three and free. How many people did you just add to your organization? So you've got 10 that are in your team builder group that are your personals. Now you've just added 10 times three. You've added 30 people to your team builder group. If each of those 30, let's not even say each of the 30. If, if, if we just had, twenty, if we just had twenty people to get three and free, if twenty of these thirty get three and free, or if all of these people didn't hit Team Builder right within their first thirty days, twenty more people go get three and free. That's 60 people plus 30 is 90 plus 10 is 100. That's a ten thousand dollar bonus. It's not. It's not as. It's not as daunting of a task as it actually looks like it is. It's just math. It is all math, guys. If you if you pay attention to the numbers, if you if you do what Chris Colty says and build on the law of large numbers. 
the law of large numbers. There cannot be a, I've got a list of six, I've got a list of five, I've got a list of, of 14. No, if, if you've got to go out and get a bunch of travel surveys and go out and make a whole lot of friends you, or dig into your phone and do a phone dump or get out all your old business cards and all your old address books, do what you've got to do to get enough people to talk to to get yourself 10 wide quickly and then help them by booking their first three travel parties, get yourself real busy guys and you're going to Punta Cana. It's just that simple. So any questions before we close out the comp plan, there's a whole lot more to know guys, but I firmly believe until we've got down the basics, you know, it, we, it doesn't matter what it takes to be a level two director if we, until we figure out you know, what it takes to navigate ourselves from fast start to team builder, to regional, to national, and then just understand the mathematics. Are there any questions? Does anybody want to come off mute and, um, and ask any questions? Feel free to do so. But other than that, this week's episode of the comp plan is, is, is officially over. Any questions, family, about any of the information you've seen so far? far? If you got it, say, I got it. All right, let's see what we've got going on in the chat. People got it, they got it. All right, everybody's got it. All right, well, of course, you know if you need me, right? All right, somebody else, we, we, they got it. Sylvia's got it, Mike's got it. Awesome sauce, awesome sauce. All right, so of course, guys, if you need me, I can be reached at area code 757-725-4721. You can email me at Coach JP Speaks. At gmail.com. And I'm on Facebook. I'm Janice Alisa Parker. My middle name is spelled A L I S A. Janice Alisa Parker. One of the things that I had a young lady ask me, she said, uh, and I'll close with this. She says, I want to be a six-figure earner. I want, to, I want to actually earn the ring. And she said, but, but I've missed my chance to earn like the $50,000 bonus. So how do I become a, um, a six-figure earner in search? Right now, barring all the other things that you earn money from, did you know that every time you put in 100 people, at 477, along the way to that 100, you earned about $14,000, right? 14,000, $14,000 $14, bonuses. And guys, in actuality, it's not just 14,000, it's, it's 1290. Actually, it's, wait a minute, it's actually more than that. If you put in 14 Platinums, you're a team builder, you get $50. Well, let, no, I'm not gonna say the $50. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say, We'll leave it at that, just, just to keep the math simple. But then $20 for every person that joins, so 20 times 100 is 2,000. And then when you get to the 100, that's $10,000. So if you put in all 477s, and we know it doesn't happen this way, but if you did, that's $26,000 minimally that you earned. You do that four times in a 12-month period, and you've earned yourself a hundred and what? A hundred and four thousand dollars in twelve months. And so the way surge works is not from like January to December. So my ring, I qualified for it in August. So it ran from the income I earned in August of 17 all the way to the income in August of 18. So every month starts a new 12. Does that make sense? So it's not a calendar month. It's a rolling 12 months. So let's just say you hit the ground running right now. You start getting you know, big bonuses the end of December. Your calendar would run from December of 18 to December of 19. And so if you think about it from that perspective, you understand what it takes to actually earn um, $100,000 in Surge 365. 
That doesn't include matches, overrides, residuals. That includes none of that. This is just strictly team builder money right here. Um, if the only difference between if you if you did 177s and 277s versus the, 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 the 477 is that this number would be anywhere from 18.5, right? 18.5 to 26,000. So that's the range every 100 people you put in. The lowest is 18,500 on the high side, 26,000. Well, even if you said 20,000, right? Who is that? Who said they got to get on it? Um, Shivana, <laughs> right, right, right. You just do it five times. You do it five times or four and a half times, right? If you're on the low side, that's still 80,000. Right, you do, you know, you do it four and a half times. You know, you you you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna hit a hundred thousand in a year. So I want you to know it's all math. Everything is math. It's not as big as it looks. Then break everything down to what you need to do on a daily, for a monthly basis, a weekly basis, a daily basis to determine what you need to do on a, a um, hourly basis to get you there. It's all math, guys. All right, love each and every one of you, family. Thank you so very much for chiming in and taking your Friday afternoon. I appreciate your time. Preferably, you learned something. I will place this. This recording will be on my Facebook, well, in my Facebook group, but it will also go on our YouTube channel uh, or my YouTube channel. And my new YouTube channel does not include my middle name. It's just Janice Parker. And I think if you put in Janice Parker in the word surge, um, you you know, as a keyword, you, you know, you'll find me, but um, so this is where the training will be. And there's some other presentations and trainings there as well for your use to show the information, learn the information, whatever you got to do. So God bless you, family. Have an incredible rest of your, your week and weekend. This particular webinar is officially over. We'll talk to you very soon. This is the best business on the planet, but we got to go show everybody what they're missing. God bless you guys.